and welcome back to thecrochetcrowd.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we have Easter and spring topiary trees just for you. If you remember in last year, in 2012, we came up with the idea of doing crocodile stitch Christmas trees. And this is a topiary tree, and this is the same one that's in the tutorial called the amazing topiary tree. <laughs> How original is that? So these trees are very, very easy to make. And in fact, when we posted the tutorial, a lot of people went really crazy for the idea and many people did more than just one. So when you look at the pattern here, it's actually got two layers. The way that I designed it, it's like a spiraling effect. And on the inside, you have just regular stitches in the inside, double crochet, working up to a cone. And basically, you come back afterward and you apply the cro crocodile stitch afterward on top of that cone, working in a continuous circle all the way back to the top of the topiary. A very easy and fun little project. So I decided to do another one and I came up with the idea to ask Diva Dan, please, can you inspire my audience using the same concept, so the very same pattern. I used a lime green, I know, and I thought, can he do something that is very Easter, very spring, and very fun, and this is his project. Now some people have the really gift to be able to decorate and the tree looked amazing even without any decorations at all. But you know, you can pop it to another level, visit your local dollar store and pick up the items. Everything you see on this tree was available at the dollar store and it is absolutely amazing. Everything from little nests to like this stuff that you find in the bottom of Easter baskets. Um, a lot of the stuff that you see here was actually something else. So uh, for example, these big, um, eggs here were on an egg reef and Daniel basically cut the egg reef into little sections and assembled everything. Most of the stuff that you see on here has been hot glued into position, especially in the bottom base. And Daniel's inspiration was to really make the base like a really beautiful kind of a nest where the topiary tree is kind of growing out of because I was at the dollar store and I'm like, there is no way all of that is going to go onto that tree. And he says, mind your own business, just <laughs> let me do my thing. and. Essentially this morning I was amazed when I came into the room and most of it was done already and it was just quite shocking. He has a real great gift. You know, this is just um, some flower stuff that you'd find in the floral section and then he went to the Easter section and found these cute little nests and he basically glued it into position. Um, he bought a bag of uh, feathers and the feathers are just inserted in. Happy little flowers. This tree is just screaming with creativity. So if you're looking to do the tutorial for this, I'm not going to refilm on how to do the tree because you already have it. So I'm just going to put a link in the more information of this video. There's going to be a direct link on the video to be able to learn how to crochet these uh, trees. And then the decorating is up to you. Now some people came up with the idea, well, what happens if you want to strip the tree and create a new season? Just don't hot glue anything into position if you're interested in doing that. But this is a wonderful little um, table piece. I'm going to have to box this up afterward and uh, we're going to take it to a festival and I think people are just going to be totally excited about it. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> He's got the little chickadee sitting on a branch. So the, one th the wonderful thing in the last comment I will make about this is that I can't stop looking at it. There's so much going on here, so many different ideas, little eggs just sitting, uh, oh, ribbons, oh, just wonderful. And I think that's what makes it very artistic is that if somebody looks at your project and says, oh, okay, that's nice. But if they sit there and say, oh, look at that, and they go like this, you know you've done a great job. So until next time, I'm Mikey. On behalf of the Crochet Crowd, go get the free video for this and just uh, follow along and then uh, run out to a dollar store or just see what you have at home and see what you can do to expand with your creativity. Until next time, I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd.